We're going to be making power available from Psalm 32 and verse 8, the NKJV version. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Church, say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus, let every young convert, a new member in Koza Global, grow in Christ as they follow the Lord daily, heeding, obeying, and yielding as instructed. In the name of Jesus, please turn that to power. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every young convert, a new member in Koza Global, grow in Christ as they follow the Lord daily, heeding, obeying, and yielding as instructed in this house in the name of Jesus. All across our campuses, we decree and we declare that every young convert and new member in Cosa Global grows in Christ as they follow the Lord daily, heeding and obeying and yielding as instructed in the name of Jesus. Let every young convert and new member in Cosa Global follow Christ in the name of Jesus. They grow in Christ in the name of Jesus daily heeding and obeying and yielding as instructed in the name of Jesus we decree and we declare let every young convert and new member in Cosa Global grow in Christ as they follow in the name of Jesus the Lord daily heeding obeying and yielding as instructed In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. We'll continue praying from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 18, NKJV. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's boldly declare and say, Father. In the name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into our midweek service, today, grant every worshiper an encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, let's turn that to power. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into our midweek service today, grant every worshiper an encounter by your word today. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree and declare, and in the name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into our midweek service today, grant every worshiper an encounter by your word in Koza Global. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree, as you gather multitudes into our service, into our service today, grant every worshiper an encounter by your word today in the name of Jesus we decree that you grant every worshiper an encounter by your word today in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus as you gather multitudes into our midweek service today grant every worshiper an encounter by your word in the name of Jesus as you gather multitudes into our midweek service today grant every worshiper an encounter by your word in the name of Jesus we decree and declare by the name of Jesus as you gather multitudes into our midweek service today grant every worshiper an encounter by your word father in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we are prayed in the mighty name of Jesus we are prayed Proverbs chapter 8, verse 14, the New King James Version. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. Church, please raise your hand and declare after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that by sound wisdom and sound counsel, we destroy every confusion in the lives of everyone genuinely connected to Cosa Global. We receive guidance in every aspect of our lives. In the name of Jesus, please turn that to power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare concerning everyone 
generally connected to Cosa Global. We receive guidance in every aspect of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, by wisdom, by sound counsel, we destroy every confusion in the lives of everyone genuinely connected to Cosa Global. Today we declare over everyone across all our campuses, online and real time, that is genuinely connected to Cosa Global. We declare they receive guidance in every aspect of their jobs, on their career, in their family life, in their businesses. We decree and declare guidance in the name of Jesus. Every confusion is hereby destroyed in the lives of everyone genuinely connected to Cosa Global. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we decree and declare by wisdom, by sound counsel, every confusion in the lives of everyone genuinely connected to our man of God, genuinely connected to the graces that work in Cosa Global is destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus by wisdom, by sound counsel, we receive guidance in every area, in every aspect of our lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Psalm 36, verse 9. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Church, can we raise our right hand and declare together, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare over Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected that we continually See only through the eyes of your world till every darkness is cast away and our entire body is full of light. In the name of Jesus, can we turn that to power? Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare over everyone in Cosa Global that is genuinely connected, that we continually see only through the eyes of your world. Every day, till every darkness is cast away. In the name of Jesus, your war becomes our guardian. Every day, in the name of Jesus, we continually see through the eyes of your war. In the name of Jesus, it will cast away every confusion in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, let your war guide our steps. In the name of Jesus, every darkness is cast away and our entire body is full of light in the name of Jesus let it be our guardian let it be our instructor in the name of Jesus we decree and declare over everyone that is genuinely connected to Gaza Global that we continually see through the highs of your war every day in every area of our life till every darkness is cast away till every confusion future is cast away in the name of Jesus. The rhema of your war becomes our guardian in the name of Jesus. Till air, our entire body is full of light and every darkness is cast away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. Psalms 119, 97, and 98. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. You, through your commandment, make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. Church, kindly lift your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare over Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected and ever increasing love for wisdom. Your word becomes our daily delight and meditation now and forever. Turn that to power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare over Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected and ever increasing love for wisdom. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare over Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected and ever increasing love for wisdom. In the name of Jesus, 
we decree and declare your word has become our daily delight in the name of Jesus we decree the word of God has become our daily delight in the mighty name of Jesus the word of God has become our meditation now and forever in the name of Jesus father we decree and declare over Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected and ever increasing love for wisdom in the name of Jesus the word of God has become our daily delight and meditation now and forever this is our reality in Jesus mighty name we declare Exodus chapter 15, 22 to 25. Then Moses led Israel from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur. They went a distance of three days, about 33 miles in the wilderness, and found no water. Then they came to Marah, but they could not drink its waters because they were bitter. Therefore it was named Marah, bitter. The people grew discontented and grumbled at Moses, saying, What are we going to drink? Then he cried to the Lord for help. Somebody say wisdom. wisdom. And the Lord showed him a tree, a branch of which he threw into the waters, and the waters became sweet. Mara was bitter before the children of Israel was born, were born. But by the wisdom of God, age-long generational issues that started even before they showed up was turned around. Somebody declare, Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every age-long issue that refused to bow, I decree, let that be a turnaround by the wisdom of the ancient. Father, in this month of new beginnings, I step into the things that my type naturally does not experience. Let there be a turnaround. My eyes are open. My ears are open. I know what to do. And I return with testimonies. Kalimo Kare Mande, Kila Bonte, Kiyashaka, Keleke Teleke Roboroko Sia Bregadesh. I decree and declare. Every bitterness is turned around. Ikatoshe, Kelebosi, Kayo, Sopro, Kateida. In this month of new beginnings, I step into the things that my type naturally does not experience. I decree and declare a turnaround by the wisdom of God. A turnaround by the wisdom of God. A turnaround by the wisdom of God. In Jesus' much less name, we declare. Amen. Exodus chapter 15, verse 27. Same chapter, just after Mara. Then the children of Israel came to Elim, where there were 12 springs of water, one for every month, and 70 date palms. And they camped there beside the waters. Just after Mara was Elim. Abundance. So springs of what God expects that every month something must spring forth in our lives. And this is a month of new beginnings. Pastor has taught us that a spring in the morning, you pass there, it was not there. But by evening, there is a spring of fresh water. Somebody declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the wisdom I need to step into overflowing abundance for kingdom advancement I receive the spring you have ordained for Cosa Global in this month the spring you have ordained for me in this month of new beginnings let it erupt Ikatesha eleke sopratae ikasota ikalegadesha with the cry and declare new doors new opportunities new levels new
new beginnings by the wisdom of God. Ikare Boroko Supreketelekete Iro Sheketela Isoproko Supratayekaleketeisha Let it erupt, let it erupt, let it erupt New springs by the wisdom of God Kia Soprotelekateisha In Jesus name we declare Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Amplified Version. Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart. And do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize him. A version says, in all your ways, submit to him. And he will make your path straight and smooth. Removing obstacles that block your way. I don't care what those obstacles are. The minute you submit to God and begin to function by his wisdom, those obstacles are removed out of the way. Somebody declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I say align with the wisdom from above. Let every obstacle clear out of the way. I declare, a straight path for my feet. Karabase kita la braga sonta. Kaye shakataba elure sonta. Iakena arabako se shekate. Obstacles clear out of the way. Maroko siene elabonto. As I submit to divine wisdom in this season. Karose iriosha. I declare a king's way. Elia pa kataraga liya bashandi abrosi le baza. Ezo katarega na masiere de bosi brakala baze ne masanda. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we're afraid. For in Jesus' mighty name we're afraid. Psalms 32 verse 8, the CEV version. It says, you said to me, I will point out the road that you should follow. There is a road we should follow. If it's not pointed out for you, you might not know that's the road you're supposed to go. It says, I will be your teacher and I will watch over you. We're going to pray that prayer. Say, teacher within. Teacher within. Point out the road that I should follow. I walk along the right path from today. In the name of Jesus, I am instructed and I am guided on what path to follow. Let's turn that to power. Teacher within, show us the right path. Point us to the right road to follow. Teacher within, tell us the right people to speak to. Show us the right path to go. Tell us the right career path to take. Show us what to do in our assignments. Show us what to do with our children. Point us to the right way. Le shakata ragada da 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 basa na masa ilia gadara ezeke terebiya kada da 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 basi ebe shere bosandi lembeki ya ge 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 gasa ilia praka ya de basi na bahana ma ilia praka ya de baka da 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 baka da baka da basi ishak ya praka ya de baka da baka da baka da baka da basa na ba le shake de rega lembeki ya e pakati ya ya de basi na masata le shete la kato rakandesa embrak ya baka da ba teacher within. Show us the path we should follow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we're afraid. Let me hear a faith believing. Amen. Amen. Second Peter 1:19. Pastor was sharing this with us. And the first part says, And so we have the prophetic word confirmed. 
the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. We're going to be praying the first part of it. And so we have the prophetic word confirmed. Words have been given and have been released over us by our senior pastor, even from the beginning of the year. And some people have gone through the motions of the months, not experiencing the word given in the season because the day star never came up. It will not happen this time. It will not happen this time in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare I have the prophetic word in my life to initiate new beginnings in wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I initiate new beginnings by wisdom. In the name of Jesus, in all areas of my life, I initiate new beginnings by wisdom. Turn out of power. Initiate new beginnings in your marriages. New beginnings over the works of your hands. New beginnings over your children. We have the prophetic word confirmed in our lives. Therefore, we initiate new beginnings. We initiate new beginnings by the wisdom of God in all spheres of our lives, in our careers, over our families, over our children, over the works of our hands, over our education, over everywhere we stay, geographically, over the territory we occupy. I initiate in Jesus mighty name we are praying Amen. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 New KJV translation verse 4 and 5a the Lord has given me the tongue of the learning that I should know how to speak a word in season to whom he is weary he awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learning. The Lord God has opened my ears. You are going to raise your hand and declare after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Each day I wake up. I wake up to divine direction. Come and turn that to power. As I wake up each morning, I wake up to divine direction. In the name of Jesus, I know what to do. I know where to turn. In the name of Jesus, I know the direction not to follow. In the name of Jesus, each day I wake up. I wake up to divine direction in the mighty name of Jesus. He awakens my ear to hear divine instructions in the name of Jesus. I refuse to walk in error. I refuse to walk in confusion in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus, each day I wake up, I know what to do. My discernment is sharp in the mighty name of Jesus. The knowing spirit is in me. I have the anointing from the Holy One and I know all things in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. I just know what to do in the name of Jesus. I have the seen eyes and the hearing ears in the mighty name of Jesus. I have the seen eyes I have the hearing ears in the name of Jesus. I just know what to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Isaiah 28, 26. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 26. But we say, for instruct him the right judgment. Is God teaches him. You are going to raise your voice again and declare. Say, God is my teacher. Therefore, 
I cannot walk in error. Spirit of error and confusion. I'm not your candidate. Turn that to power, somebody. In the name of Jesus, spirit of error and confusion. I'm not your candidate. God is my teacher. He teaches me correctly. He teaches me correctly. In the name of Jesus, he teaches me correctly. He instructs me correctly. In the mighty name of Jesus, God teaches me correctly. Caleb Oshaya, he teaches me correctly. I just know what to do. In the name of Jesus, I know the right way to follow. I know the wrong way not to go. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that the hand of the Lord is mighty upon me. He established me in his duty. In the name of Jesus, spirit of error and confusion, I'm not your candidate because the Lord is my teacher. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my teacher. The Lord is my teacher. The Lord is my teacher. I know the right way to go. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Isaiah 54, verse 13. The message translation. Isaiah 54, verse 13. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54, verse 13. The message translation. All your children will have God for their teacher. What a mentor for your children. You are going to raise your voice and declare, God has become my mentor. 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 Somebody turned out to power. God has become my mentor. Instruct me. God has become the mentor of my children. Oh, where I cannot follow them to the Lord is with them. In the name of Jesus, our children shall be taught of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, and great shall be their peace. And great shall be their peace. In the name of Jesus, we have God for a teacher and a mentor. We have God for a teacher and a mentor. He instructs us the way to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, he guides us the way we should follow. In the mighty name of Jesus, he instructs us the way we should go. He guides us the way we should follow. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the Lord has become our mentor. For the Lord has become our teacher. In the name of Jesus, for the Lord has become our mentor. For the Lord has become our teacher. We know the right way to follow. And he guides us on it. In the name of Jesus, he holds our hand into the right way to go. In the name of Jesus, leading us up into hidden secrets. Up. Oh, hidden riches in secret places. In the mighty name of Jesus, hidden riches in secret places. Because we have God as our mentor and a teacher. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Psalm 119, verse 104. Psalm 119, verse 104. New KJV. Psalm 119, verse 104. He said, through your precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. You are going to raise your voice again and declare, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. From today, I know the wrong direction not to go. Through your precepts, in the name of Jesus, turn that to power. Oh, I know the wrong direction not to go. I hate false ways. Because through your precepts, I know where to turn. In the name of Jesus, through your precepts, I know where to turn. Through your precepts, I know where to go. In the name of Jesus, as pastor teaches us every day, I decree and I declare, I receive direction to follow your precept. I receive your grace to do in the name of Jesus that which you want me to do. I hate false ways in the name of Jesus. I hate false ways. I hate false ways. I will not follow the wrong direction. I will follow the way of the Lord in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. We are still praying. Proverbs 4, 7. Scripture says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you are going to get in life, make sure you get understanding alongside. No business can start without a capital. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which is your principal. Also, wisdom is the most important factor for any business to do well. The wisdom that you work with is the most important because wisdom is the principal thing. Pastor told us that no businessman will joke with the principal. No businessman will allow the principal to just um, drag on the floor. You want to protect your principal. And you want to make sure also that you don't spend your principal. 
We are going to pray today because as COSA members, this is the season where we initiate new beginnings by wisdom. What if you don't have wisdom? How will you initiate that new beginnings? Scripture says concerning the man that found wisdom, and it says that happy, blessed, fortunate, enviable is the man who finds it. Not everybody will find it because you have to get it. You have to be deliberate. And this man who gets understanding, drawing it forth from God's word and life experience. Lift up your hands to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. That's not everyone. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Fill me with an unquenchable test for wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer this morning. Father, fill me with an unquenchable test for wisdom. If you don't have wisdom, you will not do well in life. That is the plain truth. And if you don't go for wisdom, you will not have wisdom. But once you have the test for wisdom, and you ask for wisdom, God that gives without liberality will release wisdom. Say, Father, fill me with an unquenchable task for wisdom. Fill me with an unquenchable task for wisdom. For wisdom is the principal thing. Father, fill me with an unquenchable task for wisdom. When I wake up in the morning, make me to test for wisdom. When I want to go to sleep, make me to test for wisdom. When I'm within my community, make me to test for wisdom. When I'm with my friends and colleagues, make me to test for wisdom. When I'm in your house, my father, make me to test for wisdom. Fill me with an unquenchable test for wisdom. Because the man that found wisdom has found spoil. The difference between every businessman is the principal thing the capital they started out with wisdom is the principal thing therefore we go for wisdom today in the name of jesus the wisdom that is from above we receive it in the name of jesus as we test for wisdom as we go after wisdom we declare in the name of jesus we initiate new beginnings by wisdom Father, fill us with an unquenchable test for wisdom. Fill us with an unquenchable test for wisdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For Samuel 18, 14, Scripture says, David behaved himself wisely. He behaved wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. Which means when you are behaving yourself wisely, is a pointer that the Lord is with you. And when you start acting foolishly, is a pointer that God has left you. Or you have gone far from God. We are going to pray this morning because this prayer is very critical. David was a man that was living in the middle of enemies. Hallelujah. They were pretending that they were friends, but they were actually enemies. But scripture records concerning this man that he behaved himself wisely, in spite and despite all the horse against him. He was anointed king sent to the wilderness. Hallelujah. May your enemies not be wiser than you. Amen. When people are plotting for you, they are setting ambush for you, but you are just walking plainly like a simple man. Such men fall into the trap of the adversary. As long as Samson operated in the wisdom of God, they didn't get him until he stepped into the wisdom of the world. We are going to pray today in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father make, me wiser. make me wiser. That's not everybody. Say, Father, Father make, me wiser make me wiser than my peers. Than my peers. Make, me make me wiser than my enemies. That's a powerful prayer. Pray that prayer. Father, make me wiser than my peers. Those who are planning for me, those who are plotting for me in that office, Make me wiser than my enemies. Lord, make me wiser than my peers. They are laughing with me. They are playing with me. But their heart and intent is far from me. Lord, make me wiser than them. Make me wiser than the people plotting for me. Make me wiser than the people that are against me. Father, make me wiser than my enemies. For David behaved himself wisely. Lord, make me to behave myself wisely among my peers, among my associates. Make me to behave myself wisely. Father, grant me wisdom that is from above. Make me wiser than my enemies. Make me wiser than my peers. Father, grant me unusual wisdom that will make me to be wiser than my enemies. Male poka susa rataba, male bababa susa taya, ora baba ya dedebo shekete. Thank you, Father. Somebody lift up your hands to the heavens 
and receive wisdom with thanksgiving this morning. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate Jesus this morning? Father, we give you all the glory and praise and we worship you this morning. Thank you, Father, for this communion. Thank you because as the bread was broken, their eyes were open. What they did not see before they saw. They didn't know it was Jesus walking with them. But as the bread was broken, their eyes were open to see him. As you partake of the communion this morning, your eyes are open to see. Where you were thirsty and there was a well next to you that you did not know, you see where to draw from. As you go back to what you used to do that didn't seem like it was working, your eyes are open. You will go to the office today, what was not working before? Your eyes will open and you will see something to do in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Let's celebrate Jesus one more time this morning. And can we please celebrate our global senior pastor? Hallelujah! The Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. Please don't forget this evening, 6 p.m., our Tuesday service um, holds. Be sure to come with someone. The Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. Have an awesome day. God bless you.